This is a wet air pump. It is an essential part of a condensing steam system. If you need to run a condenser, the main advantage of a condenser is not that actually you get the water back to the boiler. That's kind of a secondary side effect. The main advantage of a condenser is the vacuum it develops. It increases the horsepower of any engine exhausting into it, as well as the overall thermodynamic efficiency of the system. But in order to work the condenser, a wet air pump is needed. It can either be driven off the main engine like the pumps on those Navy engines, or it's driven by its own separate engine, like this one from here to here. The pump is just that on the bottom. <clears throat> it's called an Edwards type. I built one. We'll throw a clip of mine working in there and how it's built, but there's a bucket-shaped piston with a check valve on top of it. The check valve is actually part of the piston. There's a minimum of two, one on the suction and that one on the piston. You can also have three. The third would be a discharge on top. But the check valves in the pump, in any case, retain the vacuum in the condenser. They don't let air or water shoot back inside of it and destroy the vacuum. But what this thing does is it pulls out any condensed steam, the water, and any non-condensable gases that arrive from the boiler, air and whatnot, out of the condenser while preserving that vacuum. And then it returns them to the hot well tank or the feed water heater purifier if you're in a power plant. Now it's called a deaerator these days. So it can be used again in the boiler. You'll also, of course, want to run it through an oil separator because any engine exhaust that goes into the condenser, whether it's from the main engine or the pumps or this thing, this would exhaust into it as well, would go, it would have cylinder oil in it. And you cannot be putting that in a boiler. So you would have the separators remove as much of the cylinder oil as possible before it goes back into the hot well and into the boiler. This is one of the nicest examples of an engine-driven wet air pump I've ever seen in the United States. And it is for sale. the wet air pump working in the air check if you go around the other side you can hear it.